Let happiness. me. Can I ask you one question? Go ahead. What is a woman? My simple answer to what is a woman is anyone who identifies. As a woman. No, no, but what is a woman? No, tell me what the woman. Not don't use the answer in the definition, like the definition of the answer. Like what is the word woman? Woman is whatever the societal construct of a woman is. Yeah. So what is that? Exactly. I guess in the United States we would have certain. Here, different... what is a woman? In America or in a different country? Answer. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook humiliates long-haired pro-trans labor students. Okay, I call him Charlie Cake. We got love kicking us. Let's check this video out. I'm gonna cite a discussion you had with a commentator. I do follow Bosch. Uh, you yeah, that? I've debated him. Hard, yeah. hard to forget. Yeah, you guys look alike. Yeah, gotta love the white denim jacket. Looks horrible. Very funny. Yeah. Um, in that debate, I agree with what he said there. Of, that's not really. I feel like a valid point in this instance because my take is nationalized pharmaceutical industry. Oh, okay, right. But so, but let, let's put that aside. In that instance, that doesn't really work. Let me you. ask you a question. Would it bother yeah. you that a company stands to profit a lot of money? to get kids to do something they can't reverse. I think it's bad when a company does like anything that is coercive. So in that instance, yes. Okay, okay but that's what that's the pusher of this stuff though. Like the Boston Children's Hospital, Nashville, to, well, well, hold on. The hospitals stand to make a ton of money. This is true. Right? That's how Okay, so 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 that true. make you doubt a doubt a little bit. Like we don't have nationalized health care, you want it, I don't, but okay. Yeah. But when I see a big company that is pushing this on kids or stands to benefit from it, then, when you're saying pushing this on kids, can you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah, I mean, for example, they are normalizing through donations to transgender groups that this is okay. Donations from pharmaceutical companies to transgender activist groups saying that this is okay for a 15-year-old to be able to do. So, like, let's find some common ground. Can we at least say, wait till you're 18? I disagree. I believe that in instances where not getting that surgery could lead to suicide or oh, okay, okay. So let's ask, yes. this is a provocative question. Do you Go think ahead. they might have other mental health issues besides gender dysphoria? Oh yeah, a lot of people. Okay, why don't we address those first? A lot of people often do. Most of the people who okay. are going for these surgeries are already in therapy. Right, but would you agree that benzodiazepines and other psychiatric medication is probably not the first intervention we should use for kids? when they're 14, 15, or 16? It depends on the level. If someone is like actively almost about to kill themselves, I would say- Okay, fine. It depends is a mature answer, by the way. I, I respect you for that. Yeah. So you, my position, I think you'd understand, is kid, kids are worthy of protection. Yes. Okay, if you're 20 years old and you're an adult and you want to make this decision, don't call it medicine. You could call it cosmetic. Can okay. I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, fine. So I'm going to go back to circumcision because this is, again, a point you Okay. Should we outlaw circumcision until, like, if someone wanted to get circumcised? No, be later no, because there, first of all, there's there's religious reasons for it. Second of, there's there is a conflicting. I've, I've actually looked into this quite a lot. There's a there's a conflicting amount of hygienic data too, saying that it's it's better to circumcise a child. Can I ask a question? But there's other data to to, to, to oppose it. Sure. Are you in favor of female genital mutilation? Absolutely not. That's it's what, a religious practice with, and, and a rather and a rather cruel one. Yes. Yes. I would argue but, that but there is, is also there is no there is no medical upside to FGM though. There is a medical upside potentially mm. for circumcision. This medical upside is incredibly minimal though. You no. admit this yourself, I believe. I say it's conflicting. So I don't want to spend too much time on the circumcision debate, but um, closing argument. Go ahead. Uh, I guess my closing argument is trans healthcare is good. I think that fundamentally the best thing for people is people to live their lives right. agency, freedom to do what so they want. Let me Happiness. can I ask you one question? Go ahead. What is a woman? My simple answer to what is a woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. No, no, but what is a woman? No, tell me what the woman, not, don't use the answer in the definition, like the definition of the answer, like what is the word woman? Woman is whatever the societal construct of a woman is. Yeah, so what is that? Exactly. I guess in the United States we would have certain... Here, w what is a woman? In America or in a different country? Answer the question. What is a woman? In America or in a different country? We are in America. I, at least if I we're in America, think so. Then what a woman is, is what we generally perceive to be as such, which would be someone with All right. feminine features usually defined okay. by XY so, so or XX feminine XX. features. Yes. Okay. G generally? Generally speaking. Of course, there like are cis women who okay. are like six feet tall, broad jaw, uh, you know, big ass abs. You know, there's cis women like that, of course. Right. Yeah. Do, do you think men can become pregnant? Uh, men can generally not become pregnant unless, of course, you know, born XX, transition to male. Okay, so men potentially can become pregnant. Yes, if they are transitioning to male. The main reason why I go against people who are transgenders is not if you are transgender, it's your own decision. But when you carry those narratives to children who are young, 8, 9, 10, 12, teenagers too, 
as long as you know above 18 years and above, I feel like you should not carry that narrative today. Anyone who is not above 18, 20 years, you should not carry those transgenderism today. Because number one, it's 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 messed with their mental health. It's really, really bad. Because a lot of teenagers that I've seen, a lot of children that I've seen that carried out such um, operations or such surgeries, they tend on regretting their actions. And a lot of them commit suicide. So for me, such decision at the early stage, at the early stage of life is really, really bad. <laughs> So the pro-trans um, student right here, the labor student, who is confident enough to feel like they should, at the early stage, they can transition, I do not support that. For me, that, that is very, very terrible. Number two is you don't compare circumcision and transgenderism. No, no, no. There are big differences. Circumcision is as circumcising the child when they were small. So it have religious belief, number one, and it also have health health um conditions too, in addition to it. If someone is passing through some um gender dysphoria at the early stage of life, um as a child, you're passing through gender dysphoria, that is something different. Not a man who is a full blown man without any defect or any any t- turn wrong with his body, say he wants to transition to be a woman and go and do surgery, that itself is bad. Guys, that itself is it's misleading. That itself is very terrible. So I'm carrying such narrative to children who are who are teenagers, who are also young, that uh, you, you, you feel like a woman? Okay, now you, because you're a man, you can transition to a woman. Now, let's give you drugs. Let's give you puberty blockers. Those narratives are really, really bad. They are terrible. And this pharmaceutical company that are making money all from them. The hospitals that they are doing the surgery on, they are making millions, billions of dollars off those teenagers, off those people who are transitioning at a very early stage. They are tempering with their life decisions. I watched a video uh, of Joda Peterson interviewing a um a trans a trans man who tr- okay, a trans woman who transitioned to a man. She have actually cut off her breast. You, you get me? She has cut off her breast and now she's regretting her actions. Now the breast itself is gone. That post trans student who is seeing his own weight right there is, I feel like he's naive. I call the such people naive. I feel like they really don't know what they're, what they're saying and they're pushing bad narrative to children, to teenagers at a very young age and that itself is causing more harm in the United States, in the world as a globe. It's causing more destruction, more, more issues. It's really terrible. And a student right out going to college and still can't define what a woman is. He's saying he's in the US or in the entire world. What manner of student is that? Like that's that itself is delusion in the high essence. That itself is very terrible, guys. As a student, I, I believe he's like 17, 18, or 20 years or above. You still can't define what a woman is. You are you're asking is he in the US or in the entire world? Like you can't define a woman without using the word woman in your definition. That is terrible, guys. That itself, for you to know that this person really doesn't know what to say. But the entire video is amazing to watch. And I feel like the pro trans student should have a rethink of his own life and think more clearly about the decision that, decision that he's making. Guys, comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. Guys, I'm trying my best to talk gently so that you guys can understand each word I'm saying. I hope you guys understand my pronunciation right now. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all